At uh, 5.27 a.m. on Sunday morning, yesterday, uh, police attended a Lights View address as a result of a man reportedly threatening people. Uh, police subsequently spoke with a 44-year-old man from Globe Derby who was in an agitated state. Uh, police remained with him until an ambulance was called and the man was taken to the Royal Adelaide Hospital by ambulance. Later that evening, at about 11.58pm, uh, police received a number of triple zero calls with information that a man had broken into a unit and was threatening a woman at the address with a sword. Police arrived and could hear noise from inside the unit and tried to enter, but the door was barricaded. Police were able to get partial uh, entry or access to the premises and saw that there was a man holding a sword who was subsequently blocking the door. Uh, police attempted to negotiate with him and uh, in an effort to get him to drop the sword, they deployed a taser uh, through a partially open door and at this stage police were still outside the unit, uh, still negotiating. That taser was unsuccessful. Uh, the man remained in possession of the sword which he was putting through the partially open door. Uh, police then um, deployed spray uh, into the unit, um, but given the door was uh, still partially closed, they couldn't see what effect that spray has. And uh, again, they were still negotiating with the man holding the sword. They were then able to successfully deploy a taser uh, and allowed them to get entry into the unit. They then disarmed the man of the sword and restrained him. And it was then that they saw the man had significant lacerations to his arms and his legs and was suffering very severe injuries. Uh, the police had restrained him, uh, but then at that point, given his medical conditions, uh, they attempted to administer first aid. An ambulance was subsequently called and the man was uh, taken by ambulance to the Royal Adelaide Hospital where he passed away. It's now known that that man the 44-year-old man from Globe Derby was the same man that was involved in the incident early that morning at Lightsview. A 41-year-old woman, sorry, uh, from the address was uh, taken to hospital. She received a laceration to her arm and during this incident she had barricaded herself in a room inside that unit. Thankfully her injuries are not life-threatening uh, and she was treated at the Royal Adelaide Hospital. What I can say is this was an extremely confronting scene for the attending police. They deployed all their training in an effort to firstly negotiate with the man to drop that sword, uh, and then they were able to successfully do that. There was a significant amount of blood within the unit, and as I've said, this was an extremely confronting scene for those attending police. The matter has been declared a death in custody, and it is subject to a coronial investigation, which is being managed by our major crime investigation section. We have also launched a commission's inquiry uh, to examine the circumstances around the police attendance and the prior involvement with the man. I can say that the couple are known to each other. It is my information that they are not in a relationship, but they have known each other for some years. So we're not treating this as a domestic incident. Uh, just an incident between two people that are known to each other. Given the nature of the two investigations that are going, the Corona investigation and the Commissioner's inquiry, I am limited in the res further responses I can provide, um, but I will take some questions. Did the woman involved have an ADO out against the man involved? No. Did police provide CPR or what sort of treatment did they provide at the scene once they broke through the door? Uh, we did do CPR. They were there with the ambulance uh, and some first aid to try and um, stem the bleeding. Um, as I said, there was a significant amount of blood throughout the unit before police even went in. Uh, and we believe most of that is from the injuries that were sustained by the man. Police are confident that the man did those injuries to himself? At this stage on the information I have, uh, we believe that they are self-inflicted, yes. But that will be subject to the ongoing uh, coronial investigation and also form part of the Commissioner's inquiry. How horrific was it for this lady involved? Oh, extremely. Extremely. As I said, she was barricaded inside a unit. Um, she had called police. Uh, the police <coughs> attendance was quick. Uh, and I say our attendance was uh, extremely valuable in perhaps um, preventing her from having further injury or even death. Are you able to elaborate on the relationship between the two? 
Uh, as I've said, they are known to each other. They have known each other for some years, but uh, certainly not uh, all that well connected, and they are not, to the best of my information, in a relationship. Scott, if it's, if friends have said that it was an on and off again relationship, have police definitely confirmed that it's not domestic violence? My information at this stage is it's not domestic related, yes. Okay. Are you able to provide an update on the well-being at this stage? Oh, obviously this is an extremely traumatic situation for her. Uh, and as I said, uh, we are very thankful that she has survived this incident. Um, she was taken to the hospital and received medical treatment. Um, but like all of these incidents, these incidents are very traumatic. They are traumatic for the victim himself and also very traumatic on our police. So we are providing support for the victim and we're also providing, providing ongoing support for our police who uh, in this case uh, have been confronted with something very disturbing. It's now be said to be a, domestic, uh, a mental health matter. Uh, I can't provide too much comment on um, the aspects of that part. Um, certainly we have a coronial investigation underway and also the Commissioner's inquiry is being undertaken. So both of those investigations will look at the circumstances under which this man came to the notice of police. And that'll include him leaving the hospital and the incident beforehand as well? Yes, it will. Yes, yeah, we're taking the totality of our interactions with him. Um, certainly we've got two incidents with police uh, in less than 24 hours. Can you just tell us um, about that earlier interaction or tell us as much as you can about that, the, the lights for your incident? Uh, just that we were called because this man was in an agitated state. Um, police remained with him for a period of time whilst the ambulance was called uh, and then he was subsequently taken to the Royal Adelaide. Um, so that's as much as I can provide about that interaction at this stage. So anything to indicate that drugs may have been involved? Has he oh, it's it's too early to comment, I'm afraid. So you would on just on that just on that first uh, incident at Lights View. Are you happy that or confident in the police's choice not to apprehend him at that first incident? Again, it's very early in the investigation. That that will form part of it. Um, but from the information I have, I'm satisfied that the police interaction with him with him at that point in time was appropriate. Yes. And how are the officers who responded uh, to the second incident? Oh, they, these are very difficult circumstances that our police face day in, day out. Um, we have a very good support mechanism for them. I've spoken to them this morning. Um, their ongoing wellbeing is absolute number one priority. Um, so we will provide them as much support as possible um, and make that support ongoing. Can you tell us how many officers responded to that second address? There was an initial two officers uh, responded uh, and then once they had uh, contained that seemed to the best of their ability, other support uh, officers and ambulance came in. So, thank you, Joe. Mm. Anything else? Oh, um, is it still a crime scene? Sorry, the. I'm not sure. Yeah. No, I don't know. Can you elaborate on what type of sword was used? A sword. Just a sword? Okay. And just quickly, um, were any of the police officers injured when he was poking the sword through the door, or is everything okay? No, all our police are okay, thankfully. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.